Hey everybody, so another game in my demo series and this one is sort of anime inspired and it's actually kind of reminds me of another game but I'll get into that in a moment. So monster menu. So it, it sounds like you run around collecting monster parts and stuff and you make meals out of it. Simple enough. And it kind of reminds me, there was this game on the Switch I don't know if it made it to the other consoles, but it was on the Switch. There was like a Battle Chef game where you did kind of the same thing. You ran around these side-scrolling levels, defeated monsters and collected ingredients. Then you go back, you cook them. It was like a game show or something where you had to cook them. And then you'd try to win, see if your meal was better than the other guys. So I, I'm not a big fan of character creations. I mean, I get it. It you know, makes my character unique. And I, you really can get lost in some of them, depending on how good they are. But it's just like, ah, sometimes I just want the game to just tell me, this is your character, play as them. It's like, bleh. But okay, I can try to see if I can do anything with him, make him different. It's the demo, so I really don't even care if it's... I mean, worst case there, if I, if I do like this game, I'll probably just start it brand new anyway. If I don't like it, well then, all of this was for naught. Okay, so I guess you just crop, make, fit the menu, that's, I mean, I appreciate all the thought put into it, but, like, I don't know, I'm not going to play around with that, though, I'm, uh, I think I'm, I'm good, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to move, it feels a little too, too, I don't need that. So let's see. What's the story? Bit of a loading time. Oh, there you go. Okay. I thought maybe it was going to crash on me or something. It's like, what's going on? Well, the town for adventurers. Being an adventurer yourself, you spent your time training. I don't know if it's Pion, Pion, Pion. Not sure how you pronounce that. Lots of talking. Okay, so I'm in the Oath Ruins. And that's how you play. You can. I probably should have looked a little closer at some of the controls, but I'll just figure it out as I play. Hopefully it's not too, uh, yeah, scavenge. Okay, X is your scavenge button. I got it. There you go. Find some stuff off the rocks. Not sure how edible a small stone is, but, well, maybe we need it to make equipment or something as well. I don't know what else. What all is happening in here? Oh, wow. My hunger meter just kind of went down quick. That I'm not a big fan of that hunger meter. Like, when it hits zero, am I done? Is that... This feels very much like Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon, where they have the same kind of system where you go through and you, you have to keep feeding them or doing stuff like that to keep their appetite hunger up. And once they're empty, they pass out and then you lose. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go, though. I've got, like, one. No, oh, nothing there. Oh, I got stairs. That's a good sign. Oh, there's a body of something that does not look healthy. I guess I'm going to eat it. Oh, maggots on it too? Uh, you can at least brush the maggots off, buddy. At least the maggots do have a tendency to eat the decaying flesh, so maybe the stuff underneath will be not as bad. I don't know how it works on dead things. You probably don't want to eat it. I'm thinking he's regretting that. 
Sorry, buddy. I didn't seem like I had a choice. I mean, I guess I always had a choice, but probably if I didn't eat it, I was probably going to pass out from hunger anyway. Oh. guess there's no, like, commentary. No voiceover, no VO. At least I don't hear anything from... Just a lot of reading. Hmm. Okay, cook some recipes. That's important if I want to keep myself full. I don't have a whole lot of ingredients yet, though, so I guess my cooking options are limited. Dirt pour dish. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound very yummy. Well, he's not even eating it. There's nothing on his fork. I don't, I don't blame him, because I probably wouldn't be eating it either. Only give me 5 HP, though. I don't know what my health's at, but I hope 5 HP is enough. Oh! Oh, there's an enemy there. Thought I saw it. Okay, combat time. Hmm. Oh, I see a blue light. That's my ticket. And at least the bats aren't too tough. Take them out with a couple of hits. Okay, next floor. No need to rest, I'll just... I'll just go. Whoa. I didn't see that guy. Okay. I definitely was not ready for that. And that thing hit like a Mack truck. Oh, maybe that was supposed to happen, I guess, because... It's like they're just, like... I feel like the game is missing, like, actual cutscenes. It's just like a frozen screen showing me with talk over. Oh, I can make partners. Okay. Uh, I don't know. don't really care who joins me, but... I'll pick her, I guess. I'm not going to mess around with any of her stuff. I'm just going to leave it, like... I don't care. Yeah, who cares? Said I went over my whole thing. I'm not, I'm, nope, not gonna deal. Why not? We all just do a team full of women. Now, I've got one more spot. Should I pick a guy, or do I just go with one of the women? It is tempting to go, with, but which one should I take? Pink girl. I guess I'll go with this one. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I assume. They're all probably pretty similar when it comes to uh, attacks and stuff. I mean, maybe there'll be something, but we'll find out. So now I suddenly sense some presence. and Oh yeah, two people just randomly show up. That's normal. They're adventurers and they've been...
end. So adventurers die, their HP reaches zero. You can continue to explore if your party member dies, but the expedition ends if a party leader dies. Okay, so obviously I think my character is the leader. Maybe I can change that later, but I think that's the way it is right now. So with my character being the leader, if they die, game over. Adventure levels are lost upon death. Skills gained. Oh, jeez. That doesn't sound very fun. So, I mean, I, it is very similar, though, because I think in the Pokemon games, they do a very similar style with the dungeons, where if you die in the dungeon, you do lose your items, and you you do lose some money and stuff as well. I don't know if you go back with your experience. I don't think that happens, thankfully. But I do think the other stuff does happen. Oh man, Pokemon Dungeon was pretty fun. I remember enjoying it. Played it on the 3DS. And then I got the version that's on the Switch as well, which was a remake of, uh, I think, the DS version. Which, they were fun games for their time. But they're one of those games I think I played through it, and I kind of did the main story, and I just kind of lost interest. I would suspect that it's... Uh, I'll save it. Don't know. Uh, I suspect it's one of those things that you know, obviously you can dig a lot more hours into if you want to keep making new Pokemon friends and stuff. But I got you know I get bored and I move on to the next thing eventually. But they were pretty fun. Kind of feel like I go back to it after playing this for a little bit. I don't like the angles. It's really awkward to see where exactly your character... I feel like... Maybe... I don't know if I can adjust with the camera, but how do I get up there? Maybe there's a path up there? Or it can't be... Is it lost? Like, if, if I defeat... Okay, there's another enemy up here now, so now if I defeat it, is he just going to stay up there out of my reach? Like, I can't get the goodies from him? A little awkward to to make my attack, but but yeah, I can't like okay. Clearly, I'm missing something. It might maybe there's a path or something to get up there. Anything. I see more goodies to get. At least that I can reach that. Oh wow! Okay, so the game just pushed me up on the cliff. But I gotta go down now to attack that bat. Dead. I definitely don't like this angle. I need to adjust it. I feel like I want more of a top-down view. Would be better for this. Double teaming. Oh, jeez. To get through one and then another one just comes right at you. They apparently don't want me in this cave. And the truth is, they didn't see what I did to their friends. They Clearly, me attacking their friends didn't seem to be an indication that maybe they should leave us alone. Just collect some more goodies. Oh, jeez. There's another one up there, too. And he's coming for me. Yeah, of course he is. I should have backed away when I had the chance. But again, they're not hard to kill, so just take a few out. At least maybe I get some experience. Uh, get, definitely get some uh, ingredients, I guess, for something. Anything here? Anything Collect the here? ingredients from the body, Anything? or from the stone. There's quite a few things I'm getting. Hey, wait! I just jumped. Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay, so in the game, oh, can, you can. I probably, if I looked at the. Oh gosh, feel so stupid. Yeah, if I looked at the um, configurations of the controller, I probably would have noticed that, and I just my eyes completely skipped it. But yeah, so always your jump button. So that's how you get up on the cliffs. Anything here? Oh, 
Jeez. That's <sighs> why I should be playing the game and reading everything that comes up, huh? Don't skip past those tutorial messages. There is a purpose to them. Moving on, down, up. I don't know if I'm going which way I'm going. It looks like I'm going down, but I don't know if that's what they think. Let's see if I can adjust some of the tech speed stuff. You know what? Another thing that bothered me too is the camera. The way you do the camera, it's like reverse the way I like to move the camera. So if I can change it, it might stop me from keep hitting it the wrong way. See, I thought I played normal. I feel like the way the game has it, the camera's inverted. Monsters. I'm not sure. Maybe I completely, maybe my mind has been broken from other games, but I felt like the way I was playing it was the inverted and I was putting it to the normal. Uh, well, good camera functionality is important. I definitely don't like this side. I really feel like it needs to be a top down view for to really get the squares properly because it's sometimes it's hard to line up your. You don't really know like how, where you are compared to where the enemy is. We need like an auto battler system for these fights where I can just let the computer just do their own thing. Just take out the enemies because it's kind of clunky. Maybe there is if I play long enough. Maybe I, there is an auto battler thing where I can turn it on where they will do the attacks for me and I can just let the computer grind. There's definitely a lot less bats in this cave after I'm done. They'll need to respawn. Not the most exciting battles, I'll be honest. But three on four. Oh, that one is down. I did take that one out. It looks like that one was still like alive, but I guess it's just lying there waiting to be collected at the end. That'd be one thing that, I mean, I understand the game's about collecting, but when you knock out an enemy, it would just be nice if the, col the collection just happened automatically, like... Just give me the goodies at the end of the battle. Like, why am I having to go and forge for... It just feels kind of like an unnecessary step. Oh, what's this? An altar. Spend shards. How many shards do I even have? Oh, I don't have very many. Only like 271. And there's miracles and blessings from a cursed god. Yeah. I'll try that. I, I have enough for that. It'll increase my attack. It looks like an HP. Not exactly sure if that one hit point is going to make a real big difference here for me, but we'll try it out. It does seem like the bad guy's taken a few more hits than they did before, because when I was on my own, I was knocking out bats within two hits, and then I got a team, and all of a sudden the bats are taking three, three or four hits. Maybe they made it a little higher since I got more guys now. I need a little bit more of a challenge. <sighs> like I said, it's awkward. 
to find a spot if I can. And if I can't, I'll just... Don't want to hit my partner, probably. That's not a good idea. Apparently, if you hit your partner, they'll take damage, probably. And that is not good. Especially if I want to, you know, keep them alive. Try to avoid some of these enemies, maybe. No, that didn't work. I tried to sneak up on it, but it it did not quite work out that way either. <sighs> yeah, I'm not too engaged in this battle, if you can tell. It's, uh... No, not doing it. I mean... The game has potential. I'll give you, I mean, it could be brainless fun. Just turn on a podcast or a TV show and listen to that while you're just grinding away. Could be fun. Not saying it couldn't. I'm just not feeling it right now. It just, I definitely, I mean, if I was going to really play this game, I probably would really want to see if I could change the camera angles, like to something a little more practical. Because I just don't think, this view is working for me. Like, I really think a top-down is more appropriate for this kind of game. And maybe I'm missing the point, but... Like I said, it just feels a little more clumsy and a little awkward. And I've played games like this before. Like, I've played Fire Emblem. I've played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I've played... There's, like... It's not like I haven't played these kind of strategic games with the grid based system but it's just I'm not feeling it if I get myself some health I know, I know that dirt stuff doesn't give you a whole lot of health back but I can get myself a few bits I feel like, a, again, there's no food on his fork. He's just eating air. Well, no kidding, he only got 11 HP back. If he's not eating food, kind of important to actually be eating, buddy. Oh, that didn't sit good. He got 11 HP again. I don't understand that. I guess it's easier to just put nothing on his fork than to put actual pieces of food on his fork. At least these bird creatures are a little different. They sound a lot more ferocious than they look with that hawk noise that they make. <laughs> they definitely don't sound like they're that ferocious. They don't look like they're that ferocious, but they sound it. So he's like, which way to go? Go where the shinies are. Sparkles. That's what I always try to attract my eyes to. Sparkly stuff. Oh, he saw me. Oh, he saw me too. Uh, maybe try to sneak up behind them? No, not happening today. Awkward to try to get my line, my shot off. But I got double team move. So I haven't quite figured that out yet, but it seems like if I'm positioned, I don't know if it's beside them or diagonally beside them, they seem to work together. They'll do an attack. So I guess that would be a way to get extra hit points off if I was trying to be really strategic. Not too worried about these guys though, because they're, you know, they're not that tough. They're kind of a pushover. A couple hits and they're done, which is fine by me. Get some new gear, new stuff to. Maybe I could prepare something different with some bird meat. I don't even know how much of this stuff I even. Oh, another altar. I don't have enough for either any of them. 
it's uh, all they they raise the price. Well, I guess maybe the further you go in, and I've already got one as well. So maybe once you get one, the next one raises up. Because I've actually haven't left the dungeon since I, I took a rest while I was in the dungeon, but I didn't actually leave it yet. So I'm still doing my my run, my first run with the girls, I think. Something sparkly. Oh, I can get it from above. That's kind of clever. Oh, that's new. What did I get? Small meat, copper ore. Uh, did not look like copper, but okay. Who am I to judge? Oh, uh, guess I'm James. That's who I am to judge. <sighs> oh, that's a lot of them. Oh wow, and they're they're really going to town on us. Okay. So one bird by themselves, not so bad. A whole flock of them? Yeah, we're in a little bit of trouble. That's not cool. What the heck? You guys are gonna treat all your oh, I might get defeated by birds. That's embarrassing. Birds aren't supposed to take me out. They did, though. I got taken out by a bird. Wow. Okay, like, flocks are dangerous, apparently. Save my game. Something you guys probably aren't seeing, but the save system takes you back into a loop where it asks you to save, you save, and then it goes back and asks you to save again, and it keeps doing that. That's ridiculous. Like, if I save, then just send me back to the main stream. Like, why are you... Oh my gosh, not my thing, not my...